Here in Phuket, the new Dolphinarium, where dolphins will be housed and paraded for mostly Russian and Chinese tour bus groups, is about to open. What I want to do is I want to talk about dolphins and share some amazing experiences I've had with, dolph with dolphins. Um, you may be, you, watch this dolphin right in front of you. You may think this dolphin is just uh, spinning and having some fun. This dolphin's actually watching herself play. That's right, she's watching herself in a two-way mirror. We can look through this glass and see her like we're looking through a window, but to her it's a mirror. This is a two-year-old dolphin at the National Aquarium named Bailey, and I've been studying her behavior and the behavior of a lot of other dolphins. This dolphin has a sense of self. I think it's a horrible thing actually. Um, it's not something that we need here in Thailand. It's something we've been fighting against for for a few years now actually. And since it's coming into Phuket, it's, it, we, of course we're just gonna have to try to see how we can stop it. More and more of these innocent dolphins are being hunted, slaughtered, and imprisoned. Here's how it happens. It starts with trapping the dolphin. The fishermen use noise to scare the dolphins into one area, then trap them with nets. Some die immediately from shock. Some are chosen to go into captivity. The rest are slaughtered and their meat sold, but they're the lucky ones. The captive dolphins are taken away, made to live in tanks that are much too small for their needs. Also, dolphin traders use a technique called positive reward to train dolphins to do tricks. In reality, this means dolphins are starved till they learn that doing tricks is the only way to get food. The dolphins don't belong in captivity. They are suffering. They may look like they're smiling during the shows, but they're not. Their smile is their natural facial expression, which they are unable to change. The worst part of all is that dolphins are intelligent and know what's happening to them. Dolphins can feel emotions, just like humans. They can feel terrified, sad, depressed. If it's not okay to do this to humans, why is it okay to do it to dolphins? In Thailand, there's already a dolphinarium in Safari World, which keeps these dolphins captive. Another dolphinarium is going to be opened in Pattaya. But you can stop this. Sign our petition cards to stop the dolphinarium. Boycott any places with dolphinariums and tell your friends and family about this issue. You're the only ones who can get the dolphinariums to listen to you. To whoever decides to help us stop this problem, on behalf of the dolphins, we thank you. And to the thousands of dolphins facing a lifetime in captivity, 